This is my guillotine. It's got a copper blade on it. It's about uh, oh, four or five millimeters thick and it weighs, as you can see, on the order of 30 newtons, maybe a little more, okay? but about 30 newtons. Now, that blade, let me take this scale up, is free to slide up and down here in these aluminum channels. If I put it up here, let me show you what it can cut. Now, this is actually much better done with a cantaloupe or watermelon, some fruit that'll chop apart with a nice splatter as well, but I don't have that available. Let me show you what it'll do to a soda can. If I put this soda can in here and drop this on it, you can see it pretty much just, well, if it stays there, slices it through, and it'll go pretty much through a watermelon. Here, you can see that can got totally crushed there and it doesn't actually chop it through but fruit it goes all the way through now you would obviously not really want to put a part of your body here and then release this except i can these are four really strong magnets now magnets are not attracted to copper okay nor aluminum so there's no Stick into these pieces of metal. Iron, like this little piece of chain, oh yeah, stick to that and take some force to pull away. But the blade, not so much. Now, if I put them here, at the back, so that the blade isn't going to rub against them on the way down, it slides past them. You look from above like I am, you see there's actually a gap of the blade, all two or three millimeters. But now, it's safe for me to put part of my anatomy through there. Now, I can't reach with my arm and pull this out, but let me put my foot in there for you, okay? And just to show you that I'm not cheating, let's take the shoe off and drop this onto my foot. Ha! Why didn't it chop through my foot? Electromagnetic induction. It's science, guys. That's what's going on here.